Between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter lies a vast, donut-shaped region of rock and dust. But is the asteroid belt the rubble of a destroyed planet? Here are five facts about this fascinating region. First off, it is not a destroyed planet. Contrary to popular science fiction, the asteroid belt is not the remains of a destroyed planet. In fact, it's the opposite. It's the material for a planet that was never able to form. Next, it was Jupiter's fault. The main reason a planet never formed is the immense gravity of nearby Jupiter. Jupiter's gravitational pull constantly stirred up the material in the belt, preventing it from clumping together into a large body. Another interesting fact is that it's surprisingly empty. The asteroid belt is often depicted as a dense, crowded field. In reality, the asteroids are spread out over a vast volume of space. Spacecraft have flown through it many times without any issue. On top of that, there's not enough mass. If you were to gather all the material in the entire asteroid belt into a single object, it would still be much smaller than Earth's moon. There simply wasn't enough stuff to begin with. And finally, Ceres is the dwarf planet within. The largest object in the asteroid belt is Ceres. It's about 9 or 40 kilometers, 585 miles in diameter, and is so large that its own gravity has pulled it into a round shape, qualifying it as a dwarf planet. Ready to navigate the facts? Try our asteroid belt quiz. What is the main reason a planet did not form in the asteroid belt? A. There wasn't enough rock. B. The gravity of Jupiter was too disruptive. C. The material was too icy. How crowded is the asteroid belt in reality? A. Very crowded and dangerous. B. Mostly empty space. C. Moderately crowded. What is the name of the dwarf planet located in the asteroid belt? A. Uh, Vesta. B. Pallas. C. Ceres. How did you do? Let us know in the comments. The asteroid belt is a fascinating look at what could have been. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe for more stories from our solar system's history.